Hey guys, Silver Contrail here. Today, uh, I am playing the Feed the Beast Overload pack. And this is actually a private pack, and if you know about Feed the Beast, of course, we've got different ways to play. Um, one of the more popular ones for a long time was like the Minecraft pack. And uh, this is you know, a new, uh, new private pack. It's not done by the Feed the Beast team. It was done by someone else uh, who set up the pack, and I'll link you guys to the thread on Reddit where they talk about it. Uh, in the meantime, we need to shut something off because this is... Actually, you know, we'll leave this on. Uh, it's a little annoying because as you can see, all these leaves are falling, which is a really cool effect. I don't know what mod adds it, and it just looks amazing. Unfortunately, it messes with the highlight tooltips option uh, a little bit that you can see on the top, and that's an NEI feature, and I really like that because it lets me see what I'm looking at. You know, if I don't know what this is, I can say, hey, it's or, it's copper or gravel ore. And there might be not a whole lot different between this and my actual Feed the Beast Let's Play, at least not initially. But the main difference here is simply the sheer number of mods that have been included. So I've got my materials and new book that you start off a new world with. Uh, this is for Tinker's Construct, and I'm just going to go ahead and clear that out. Uh, we can see my map. And I get an achievement for finding a mangrove. Uh, we're going to fly around a little bit. This little place. I don't know what kind of biome this is supposed to actually be in real life. This is kind of an odd biome. Uh, there's this frozen... Oh, cool! These guys live in here, snow golems. This is, uh, this is a icy hills biome. That's kind of cool. Icy hills achievement get. And then we have some more biomes over here. Um, as well as a level loading error. So let's talk about this pack a little bit. Um, right now the more popular pack is called Feed the Beast Unleashed. Uh, it's got a lot of mods in it. The one thing it doesn't have is Greg Tech. That's why on my version of Unleashed that I'm playing, I've installed Greg Tech myself. I've also installed Redstone in Motion, a mod that I did a spotlight on a while back. For this pack, we've got you know all our basic stuff here. Uh, you know A regular creative tab. We also have another nine additional tabs so we jump over here we see we've got thermal expansion and industrial craft very very common mods we've talked a lot about these in our series uh, these are mods that pretty much everyone who's done anything with feed the beast is familiar with uh, as well as things like build craft and such uh, we've also got advanced reactors which kind of supplements the reactors nuclear reactors uh, in industrial craft and there's also extra cells which is in addition to applied energistics and it lets you store liquids which is really really cool it also adds some new storage uh, storage items uh, here's you know 1 million storage 4 million 16 million um, and there's also fluid storage these store fluids in them you know you can store 1k buckets you can store 16k buckets and so on and so forth um, and there's different you know, means of exporting and importing fluids, which is really cool, and I would probably install this on my version of Unleashed if I can manage it. We've got Thalmcraft, which of course you guys probably know about. Compact windmills. There's a lot of wind going on in this game. So we've got windmills here. Uh, factorization, of course, you might know about that. Barrels mostly. Uh, Xenos Reculary, which is tends to come in and out of Minecraft. I don't really mess with it. Equivalent exchange, of course, for the beautiful minium stone. We've got some ancient blocks in here, which is a newer mod, I think. Um, it adds volcanic rock, and I think it adds oh, ancient items. Yeah, it adds a bunch of like fossils and things, I believe. Uh, there's a lot to it. We've got Greg Tech installed here. Uh, Greg Tech and Tinker's Construct are installed, despite them having a little falling out. We've got a little furniture mod in here. Logistics pipes. Mine chem, which is deals with a lot of chemicals and creating new chemicals. I haven't messed around with it too much. Miscellaneous peripherals, of course. Uh, apparently nothing. Uh, then we've got open CC sensors, open blocks, open peripheral. We've got Steve's carts, of course, and components and Steve's cards blocks, useful food, which has a lot of different types of food that have different effects, and then Omni tools. Unfortunately, the Omni wrench has fallen out of use. 
due to the new wrench mechanics in Greg Tech. Buildcraft, of course, has a new item called Quarry Plus. Uh, the Quarry Plus is really cool. It's got some extra settings, and you can actually put enchantments on it, and you can move it with the Redstone in Motion frames. There's also a Refinery Plus. So that is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think, yeah, there's some new pipes in here as well. Mine Factory Reloaded, of course, and Applied Energistics. Yep. Naturia, Biomes of Plenty. Uh, B stuff, as usual. Nothing too excite or nothing too crazy here. Uh, the uh, tree breeding, and then these guys, which I never really mess with the butterflies. Forestry, as usual, and then the genetics for the extra bees. Charge pads, computer craft, rail craft. Tinker's Construct, Train Craft, which was one of Etho's favorites in the Minecraft pack, Twilight Forest, Modular Force Field Systems, which has some new item icons, that's kind of cool, and Falling Meteors is a newer one. Uh, meteors will sometimes impact the Earth. Uh, yeah, another Modular Force Field Systems tab, Galactic Craft. Galactic Craft allows you to do a lot of crazy things like building rockets with a NASA workbench. I'll show you guys this because it's a really cool looking block. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is really cool. You can build rockets in it and you can even go to the moon. True story. You can get a tier one rocket, tier one rocket, tier one rocket, tier one rocket. Oh, it's pre-fueled. Creative only. What do you do with it? Oh my gosh. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love the animation for this. How do I do it? Do I put it down? Do I fly with it? What do I do? I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. You can hit people with it. I don't think you can just put it down anywhere. Oh, maybe you need a rocket launch pad. Maybe you need more rocket launch pads. Oh, oh, check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we press space to launch, and then A and D to turn left and right, W and S to go up and down, and F is our inventory of fuel. You don't have a parachute. If I press launch again, there's no going back. I don't care if I have a parachute or not. Go. Fly. Oh, it's countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what'd I do? Oh, I crushed it. No, <laughs> through all that, I screwed it up. Okay, hold on. We're going to get back to there. We're going to do that again. Okay, we're going for the gold this time. Here we go. You can see on the left there's a little marker for how high I'm going. I'm going past the clouds. Look how high up I am already. Jeez. I am at Y500. It's all sorts of colors. I think. Are we in space now? Y700. Y-800. 900. One thousand? There isn't any more sound. Um, gotta be in space. Eleven hundred? How much farther up does this thing go? Oh, whoa. Oh, check this out. Okay, so once you get outside of the atmosphere, you can create a space station. Uh, using materials, which I don't have any of, or you can go to the moon. Habitable, no oxygen, gravity 18%. Send to dimension 63, 62, 60. I am falling. 
I am falling. Ah! What did I land on? What happened? What is this? Oh boy, I'm like... I don't know what's going on. Whoa! Okay then. I'm on the moon! Oh cool, if you jump, you've got a lot of low gravity. So this is Galactic Craft. There's so much cool stuff you can do with this. Uh, presumably if I wasn't in creative, I would probably die. So there's moon turf, and there's moon dirt. This is really cool. We Apparently there are mobs around here too. And if you look up, you can see the Minecraft world. That's just, this is so cool. So yeah, there's a different moon dimension that you can go to in here. Uh, this, yeah, this pack is pretty neat. Oh, there's some, what's this? Oh, I can't see anything down here. Uh, let's go ahead and head back. I'm just going to kill myself. Hopefully we end up back at... Yeah, okay, here we are. Sweet. Ooh. Let's do time set day. Okay, let's keep looking through the different mods that we have. Uh, like we said, talked about Galactic Craft, and here's the moon with that, I think, cheese ore. <laughs> nice. Get some cheese. Uh, better storage. This allows you to combine chests, and then you can use them to store items. Bibliocraft. Uh, different stuff. I've never really used this mod. This has been in previous packs. Chisel blocks. Different sort of fancy looking blocks. These are kind of cool. A modular power suit. Modular... I don't know why it's MMM. Uh, power suit armor. Which, of course, you guys might be familiar with. Uh, Darkcraft, which I think is a really overpowered mod, but whatever. Extra Utilities, really, really useful mod. Lots of good things in here. Stuff like the Angel Block, which, of course, you can just place anywhere. Uh, it doesn't have to be next to a block, so if you're building out somewhere and you need a block down, it's pretty handy. And then some other, and some other neat things in here. Uh, compressed Cobblestone lets you store your cobblestone more easily. Uh, the endothermic pump is hugely useful. I use one in my main world right now. You know, different stuff like that. Uh, some thalmic tinker. A little add-on for thalmcraft. Uh, some seeds. Growth craft. I'm not really sure what growth craft is. I, hasn't, I haven't messed with it, but... Uh, here's some magic bees, nether ores, portal mod. And here's redstone emotion. Again, I did a mod spotlight on this a while back, and it is now in this pack, so... Yeah. Definitely check it out. And then secret items. Building blocks, uh, foodstuffs, tools, combat. I don't think these are sorted right. I don't know which mod they're supposed to be. They're not really sorted correctly. Uh, materials, miscellaneous. Okay, vending crashed my game when I clicked on it last time, so I'm not going to click on it this time. <laughs> and then we've got miscraft, of course, which has been in just about every version. Miscraft symbols. Uh, forestry plugins, and then finally, power converters, which you're probably familiar with as well if you've been playing uh, at all since Ultimate. Uh, all in all, there is a lot of stuff in this pack, and as a result, it's a little bit slower than uh, Unleashed or Unhinged. Uh, but that said, there's so much stuff you can do in here. There's a lot of functionality. The new Applied Energistics liquid storage is great and it's a good reason to move on to this pack if you haven't already been playing on the new 152 packs I would say now is the time of course whenever you're dealing with a private pack you do have to be worried about it not being supported anymore you lose your world but I think this is a world that you or a a pack that you can have a lot of fun with for a very very long time get out of here snowman so that's it from my mod spotlight here. Uh, there's a lot of things to toy around with. Way too much for any single episode to cover. I'd have to do a lot of mod spotlights uh, to even get close to that. Uh, but this is pretty cool. I might do a server series on this pack. I'm not sure. And yeah. Feed the Beast has got a lot of options. If you look through them, you're going to find something you enjoy. I almost guarantee it. But you do need a bit more processing power than regular Minecraft. I love these leaves. This is probably my favorite part. They're so cool. If you can't hear, there is like a kind of a wind ambient noise. It's really nice. But yeah, that's it for me. Again, download a link in the description. If you want to get this, 
go to your Feed the Beast launcher, type in private pack, or click on the private pack option, a little dialog box will appear, and you want to type in over with a capital O, and then load with a capital L, no space in between them, and you're good to go. And again, I'll put that all in the description. So thank you for watching. Until next time then, and have fun.